Welcome back to Mark Strong Edits. Today we're taking a look at four easy steps to creating 3D text in Blender for beginners. Let's check it out. All right, step one is creating the text. So we'll hit X on the cube to delete it, shift A on our keyboard, and we're gonna choose text. Up in the left hand corner, we're gonna change this to edit mode. And we'll hit backspace to clear out our text, and I'm gonna type in Star Wars for this example. We'll go back into object mode. On the right hand side here, we have this green A icon, that's our context menu. And with our text selected, I'm just gonna hit R on the keyboard and hit X to rotate in the X axis. And I'm gonna type in 90 to go 90 degrees with that. And step two, we're gonna change the font and extrude our text. So within our context menu, we have our font drop down. I'm gonna to navigate to my downloaded font, which by the way, the fonts I use in this tutorial were all downloaded from dafont.com. I'll go ahead and add the link in the description. But if we choose the geometry drop down, I'm going to increase the extrude amount, which will give us some depth to our text. And then under our bevel drop down, I'm going to increase the depth on that. And the resolution, the higher, the smoother the bevel, the lower, the harder the bevel. So I'm going to go with the lower resolution. That's going to give us a harder bevel. I think it helps uh, the shine to kind of stand out a little bit as it reflects on the bevels. All right, step three, we're gonna create the materials. Materials option selected, I'm gonna hit new, and we're gonna rename our material to text color one. Helps it stay organized. And for the base color, I'm gonna set this to kind of a yellowish. So with the color wheel, we'll just drag this to sort of a yellow. As you notice, we don't see our text actually changing color. We just have to change the material view. So the viewport options up at the top here, we're gonna change it to our material view. And now we can see our yellow. I wanna give this sort of a metallic look. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit on our material menu. Just drag this out a little bit. And we're gonna increase the metallic value good. We'll increase the specular, give it a little bit more of a shine. And I'm going to drop the roughness just to really help it shine a little bit more. I actually I think I'll drop down the metallic value just a little bit. So that's about it for our materials. I think that's going to work just fine. All right, and I'm gonna change our view to the rendered view up in the right hand corner. And this is gonna be our final look. So step four is to add lighting. So we're gonna hit Shift A. We'll choose light and point. So we'll select our move tool and we're just gonna move this point light. We're gonna bring it in front of our text that way it properly illuminates the front. And on the right side of the screen, we have our light options. And so I'm just going to increase the power, just brighten this up a little bit, and we'll increase the radius. And there's four different types of lights. So you have point, sun, spot, and area. So right now I have point. This is going to be sun, which sort of just brightens the entire scene. Essentially, that is the sun. We can just rotate this. That's definitely too much light. So let's try point, or I'm sorry, spot. We'll go area. I'll rotate this on the x-axis and just give it a little bit more of a slant. Pretty much just rotate it to where you see fit. So I'll throw one on the opposite end and I'll probably duplicate and add one more in the center. All right, that about wraps up this tutorial. 
Thanks for checking out this video, guys. Make sure to give it a like. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section or if you want to see any additional tutorials from me in the future. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.